update for you guys for Bitcoin. I'm not going to have another update until next weekend. How about that? I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Um, you guys are getting spoiled. I'm updating you every few days because you get freaked out and you know your emotions take over. Well, this is to the person that you know is worried about where we are and so forth uh, with Bitcoin, and uh, to calm your fears once again. Um, you know, I'll tell you a bedtime story, you know, <laughs> and tell you that there's no monsters under your bed or whatever it is that will help you mentally. Um, what you see here is let's go to the this is the macro pattern. And I told you about self similarity appearing and, and charts and so forth. And remember, all I do is observe, plan and execute. I trade based off of everything that I see in my experience and what the market tells me, not off of uh, ideas or feelings or emotions or anything like that. So my job is very easy. Um, it's very uncomplicated. Um, so what we see here that I showed you here uh, is the pattern that we have right here. And it's very parabolic. It's upward. Uh, the market's been doing this with a lot of pairs like BNB, for example. But uh, now it's done it with Bitcoin. Okay, that's fine. But this is a divergence from this point. All this, this 5,600, uh, uh, all the way down to here, and uh, 0.4 down here. If we see that pattern, you know what I'm looking at. Now, a lot of people are all concerned about this right here. They've forgotten where we've come from, uh, but I haven't. And if we look back in this chart, you know, we came from this 3000 area where I thought was a great buying zone and it, and it turned out to be, but it was only for this target up here in the, the 5,000, the 5,600 area. And then we should have retraced here, but we didn't do that. We exacerbated, you know, we did this parabolic move upwards. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That is a possibility. So what we're going to look for is for it to close this divergence that come all the way back down here. Uh, and then from there, we'll go over and decide whether to go long or um, do any of that, um, if that makes sense to you. Uh, but that's undetermined. It's up to the chart. And we're going to go from there. We're going to let the chart tell us what it wants to do, not what we want it to do. And uh, if we look inside, let's go here and expand this here we can see the smaller pattern that played out already, right? So we had this point up here, here, so one, two, three, four, and then your five, your exaggeration all the way up here. It went up to above 172.8 and, and close to the 200% and then pulled all the way back down to here where we executed some orders that we sold it in the 8,000 range and then bought it back here and now we've gone all the way back up here and we'll sell it again and we'll be looking next for the target um, down here uh, down towards that 57 50 you know and then from there i'd likely become a buyer um you know uh, you know that's what's on the chart it makes perfect sense uh i've never seen because of the lower low that you had here in the 3000 range, which we did have. I've never seen it not retrace two thirds of the range of whatever low was here from whatever high that we make up here. Uh, it's very rare for that to happen. So, you know, that's the game plan. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to fear. There's nothing, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, if you agree or don't agree with it, I don't care. Um, I'm not going to go over and start coming up with all kinds of fancy uh, other technical analysis brought to me. This is what's there. I showed it to you. There you go. End of story. There's your update. I'm not going to update you until next weekend. Relax. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.